I'll be the first to admit that I didn't immediately jump onto the plug-in bandwagon right away. Since I'm an ambassador, I was one of the original testers, played around with it a little bit, but I found myself just sticking with ChatGPT and Playground for all of my needs. Now I have since come around and created several plugins. A lot of them actually use my ChatGPT and Playground prompts. The cons that I have found in doing that is plugins do not seem to handle lengthy instructions very well. So whereas before in chat or playground, I could give a whole lot of instructions, a whole lot of context. I found using the plugins, if I give it a lot of instructions, they typically stall somewhere and don't consistently give me that output that I'm requesting. That is the con, but the pros to using plugins, definitely I'll wait that. And that is, of course, being able to use them on any type of content you wish. That is mainly what I use plugins for now. I do a demonstration in class with my Just Beat It plugin. And that's the one I probably use the most to help with my dark romance scenes. But today, I wanted to focus on a different plugin. If you go into the plugin page, these up here are the most popular. And of course, you can sort here to see the most popular, newest, and then any of you added in yours. I want to talk about this one right here. So anytime someone brings this one up in Discord, they have nothing but good things to say about it. Everybody raves about this plugin. So let's check it out. There we go. And we are going to go through a couple of them. So I am going to do it in my young adult, which is clean. We'll check that one out because I have heard that particular plugin doesn't like spicy content. All right, so let's roll through here. I'm going to go ahead and do this random section. Now, none of this was edited. So I'm not sure how it'll come out, but we'll see. Did not check to see how many words can be highlighted. That might pop an error up on us. So as in Lysia, my heart is racing, feeling ways of relief, but also sharp sting of fear. And so I like that. You are thoroughly bound by some supernatural force. Again, not edited, it, and it did catch that little error right there. Let's check out the second. I like this one a lot better. And I could see being able to use a lot of the wording here for her internal thoughts. Right, so that one is the character's prop, the author. All right, let's look at another one. Let's check out this better openers. Once you've written some of the chapter, it uses the chapter to craft a more compelling opening sentence or paragraph. Highlight up to a thousand words. Okay. And if you are unaware, 
this shows how expensive it is. So this is one of the more expensive ones. And of course, fewer lightning bolts would mean less expensive. Let's go through this one that we did in the demo before. So I can highlight up to a thousand. Let's stop right there. Too many, and now it says 250 words. Maybe I misread. In the quiet, unassuming kitchen that once crammed with a comforting scent of homemade meals now reeked of metallic dent. So I'm not crazy about it, but there's potential for sure. I guess my dance. Let me run this one again. Oh, wait, that's right. It did do three chords. Let's check out the others. So I think what I'm not liking about this is there is just no cadence to everything. It's just very long. Lengthy definitely has all of those describing phases that are phrases that I don't care for. It's okay every once in a while, but for each one to have it. So the light bulb up here, comma, casting an airy glow, stood, comma, hands trembling, knife clattered against the floor, comma, it's echo reverberating. Yeah. So all of that I'm not crazy about. I do like this third one better. I would still delete half of each sentence. My English classes are failing me now as to what these phrases are actually called. Is that the adverbial participial phrases? Maybe. I don't know. I stared down the lifeless farm sprawled across the once pristine linoleum. I do like this one. Okay, so this third one is pretty darn good. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and save it. I didn't care for the others, and this one definitely needs to be edited to not have that phrasing that I don't care for. But overall, I really like this one. And let's try one more. Let's look at... We'll do two. We'll do SQL Generator and the Darkify characters. So this one came from the original plugin that was Darkify. That one is no longer available here in the plugins. Thankfully, my friend that created it made it a GPT. And of course, now I use my Dark Experts. So I want to see how this compares to my Dark Experts. So I'm going to add this one and the SQL generator. Mosh usually has some good stuff. So for SQL generator, let's see which one we can use. I'm going to come here. I think I might have my outline here already. No, I did not put. I'll do this one as the sequel. And I can compare that with what I already have planned. Meanwhile, back in the real world.
Okay, so this is very fantastical sounding. I wonder if that's built in. Okay, so that one won't really work well for me. I don't have another do it here. I didn't think I had another fantasy. Try it on this little cinema right here. Artifacts again. Okay, so the downfall to this one is that it doesn't look like it's reading anything as far as my genre. And it's definitely not seeing the characters in current story. I think that would help. Lots of potential there. But I would rather it read what I have so far in my story Bible. So it keeps connecting those characters. I will do the darker five. Let's go to. I'm just going to copy all of these real quick. Now I'm just going to rename the only two ones that I want. Let's see if it can handle all three. And four is that two, four. So apparently I didn't need to highlight them at all. It just pulls directly from the character box. So the description stays similar, then it just adds some little things. So raffles in the criminal activities. I can't decide if I like this or not. It's on one end very cliche sounding, but there are some decent ideas in here. So I do like this, but then it gets all cliche that masks the fiery rage burning within. So I do like the original Darkify a little bit more since it encompassed the setting, plot, and the characters. So I think in this instance, I would stick to using my dark experts. But I could see this one giving me some ideas for describing the plot some. Dotland's Texas charm is but a mask for the brutality. Yeah. So all of these characters now sound the same. That's the bad thing. There's nothing really unique with them anymore. All right, let's go back to here. So again, these are the most popular. Check some of them out. 
I said, everyone raves about the characters prompt the author, which is the character simulator right here. And just scroll down, see which ones you like, and play around with the plugins, and of course, create your own. All right, thank you for watching. Bye, everyone.